without doubt, one of my favourite features in DaVinci Resolve is the stills feature. I absolutely love it. It's so nicely implemented. And I'm just going to show you that today. So here we have a uh, clip. This is a UHD 50 frames per second clip, but it's in a 1080p timeline. I'm going to do a very quick grade on this clip. So let's bring down the gain and try and recover what we can from those uh, from those slightly blown out highlights there on the, not to be une not unexpected actually on the metal of the alloy wheel here on a car. And um, I'm going to add a node and add film convert to this node as well and just warm it up a little bit like this and that will do. So what I want to do now is I want to grab a still of that. So if I right click, that's what am I doing? No, if I right click on the image, the actual image here and do grab still, you'll notice that in the gallery here, if it's not open, then just click on this button here, gallery, and you'll op you'll see that your still now exists in there. That is kind of like a basically basically a screenshot isn't it of uh, of what your um uh, footage looks like but the be the big thing here is it also carries all the information about the grade too and that's the sort of main thing i like about it of course because if you right click on here you can do uh, you can know uh, you can export it and you it defaults to dpx which uh, is obviously really useful if you're needing to um, share it with other people but if, but we can also export i'll just move this up a touch uh, da, 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 move up there. We can also export to all these other file formats as well, most of which are lossless, so you know you're going to get a really good quality still from that. So if I export to a TIFF uh, here and just do, uh, I'll just copy MW, I did what tested that earlier, and let's have a look at that TIFF file. Now, where is it? Yeah, so there we go. This is in uh, Windows Photo Viewer. And it is just a full, full res, well, full to the frame uh, frame size here, um, of the full HD, of this grade. But you know, we can now go to a different clip like this one and say, well, what I want to do is similar look on that one. So I can, of course, just middle click on this picture here but you can do the same with a still as well so if I middle click on this still it immediately drags across all the grading that applied to this one to this one so that information is all carried with it and so I've got immediately got the film convert I can say well is this a suitable grade for this clip well yeah we might want it a little bit different but I think it's pretty good for that clip maybe just bring out some some of the uh, blacks a little bit it might not work for everything because if we click on this clip and then click on the still, well, it's a little bit too dark. I'd want to raise that up a bit, but you know, we're still getting from the we're still going from the same starting point as far as the colors concerned, and it saved loads of time. You know, I've kind of basically just in a few seconds there, I've basically just graded three clips in a matter of seconds and they all have the same stuff applied to them it's just such a time saver now I'm, I'm only using two nodes here but if you were using a massive sequence of nodes and you knew that all your clips had roughly the same uh same stuff going on you know the same kind of exposure same kind of content and were shot in similar lighting and you just sort of set up your primary grade to do your main changes from you can just do that click on the still and just basically just all your nodes complete and then you can just make adjustments to that initial kind of um, initial node and get everything looking pretty uniform really quickly. I absolutely love it. It's such a nicely implemented feature and they can stay in there. You can take, you know, capture another one of that separately and, and just, just for extracting screenshots, it's good enough. I mean, I'm not sure why I'd want a screenshot of this, but lovely bit of water on there. Let's just play that. Look at that, 50 frames a second goodness. Yes, it always rains in the UK, so it's easy to get shots of cars in the rain. Yeah, so there we go. That's um, stills within DaVinci Resolve. Brilliant feature. Absolutely love it. And um, if you don't use it already, hopefully that helps you a little bit and you will definitely start using it in the future. Thanks for watching.